Distinguished delegates, dear colleagues and friends, peatlands are the world's natural infrastructure, which provide water and food, mitigate climate, and protect us from droughts and floods. But once drained, they become drylands and release vast amounts of carbon into the atmosphere. The sustainable development target on land degradation neutrality is a practical framework that aims at keeping land in balance so that in net terms, things will not get worse. When it comes to peatlands, it's about rewetting previously degraded peat sites while also working to avoid or reduce the risk of peatland degradation. To date, 127 countries have expressed the political will to join the global mission to restore vast amounts of land to achieve land degradation neutrality. They have committed to restore about 450 million hectares of degraded land. Nearly one third of the countries identified wetland conservation and restoration measures as a priority, while 15 of them had a direct target or no net loss of wetlands and peatlands. Reversing peatland degradation is a priority for some countries in the land degradation neutrality targets, but also in their obligations under the Paris Agreement. Policies which protect, restore, and sustainably use peatlands, investments which support large-scale rewetting of drained peat sites, and technological solutions can lead to net zero carbon dioxide emissions from peatlands by 2050. This ambition will require action now and at all levels. Although the United Nations Convention to Combat the Certification focuses primarily on drylands, connectivity across all ecosystems in different climatic zones is critical. Failing ecosystem services in one region have cascading effects on the productive potential of other ecosystems and hence on the communities which depend on those ecosystems. Our convention supports countries in diagnosing the health of the land resources. The ongoing monitoring and reporting cycle will reveal the global and regional trends in land cover, in biomass productivity, in soil carbon, in different types of lands. Those data will inform national and global actions to achieve land degradation neutrality. The global mechanism of the Convention supports 56 countries around the world to design projects and mobilize resources to implement the national land degradation neutrality targets. Peatland conservation can be part in these national projects and programs. Our participation today in this important event is a signal that nothing can be achieved if we work in isolation. Many environmental agreements can join forces through their own policy frameworks to protect and restore peatlands. Working together from our respective mandates, we can better support countries in the challenging task to restore 2 million hectares of drained peatland annually until 2050 to comply with the Paris Agreement. I wish you a productive discussion. I look forward to the outcomes of the side event and I would like to thank you for inviting us.